like myself who dedicate our full time, our careers to this. Um, this is what we're after and it's, it's wonderful. Over the last couple weeks, as we've seen these videos come out, at the Center for Medical Progress have released video after video of staff, Planned Parenthood staff, higher ups, discussing the brutal trade of selling fetal body parts. I have been absolutely nauseated for the last several weeks, and I think all of you have as well. I think that's the natural reaction. And today, as I watched the latest video in which a staff member had a what looked like a pie pan of body parts, a disarray of fetal body parts, of a little boy or girl whose life was cut short. As I watched that, I felt sick. I had to take a break because it was so disturbing. But as I watched this, I remembered something that the truth is that in that video up to that point, I was seeing nothing different than what Plant Parenthood does day after day after day. Up to that point, there was no buying or selling, there was no dissection. That is what an abortion looked like. That was a victim of abortion. Planned Parenthood is one of the biggest or the biggest largest abortion provider in the country. And every day we know that 2,900 little Americans are dismembered, decapitated, and disemboweled by abortion. This is the hard reality, folks. It's awful and we need to wake up to it. They are the primary victims of abortion. Women have been lied to, women have been, been betrayed. And if you look at social media, Twitter, Facebook, any of those, you see women after woman say, I didn't know, and they are angry and hurt and rightly so. But we can never forget that the primary uh, victims of Planned Parenthood are the babies themselves. They are the ones they are after. These babies have been betrayed by the doctors who are supposed to care for them, supposed to provide them care until that moment they are born and after. They've been betrayed by the fathers who should protect them, and they're betrayed by the mothers who should have been strong enough to save them. It's a hard, hard truth. But Planned Parenthood has made it very obvious the evil atrocity that we are up against. I don't believe that the victims of abortion are voiceless. I think they do have a voice. And I think their voice is the videos we've been watching over the last couple of weeks. Their bodies. The hard truth, I think, is them talking, them pleading with us to help them. Planned Parenthood has built the skyscraper of profit off of these little corpses off of the women that are in desperate situations, off of the men that feel like they have no power. They built a skyscraper of profit off of this, and they're getting away with it. But it's time that we say enough is enough, we're holding you accountable, and we will do what we can to end it. We don't need to just defund Planned Parenthood. We need to defeat them. They need to be done. Um, on August 22nd, my organization, Created Equal, will be going to the local Planned Parenthood on East Main Street. And we will be standing out there pleading with the women going inside to not kill their children that day. We'll be pleading with the people there. We'll be trying to stand up for the little babies who are going to be killed that day. We'll be handing out pamphlets afterwards that you can join us at this event. We'd like all of you to join us. Um, say that you've had enough of Planned Parenthood, that it's time for them to be done, to stop profiting off of the tiny little boys and girls that are being killed every day.